All right. So, starting at nine, you start at nine. You see a bunch of people. Uh, you see one person per side starting to move towards. Them. They look like they're running to rate. They look like they are trying to rush the stage. At seven, excuse me, you see four guys running. At seven, you see another guy join them. And so you've got a total of five guys trying to rush the stage on this side and five guys trying to rush the stage on the front. All right, so those, so you see a total of five guys on each side of the stage rushing towards the stage. Um, uh -huh. Galbraith, <coughs> you can declare now. So I I think it'd be me, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, it would be. Oh, no, excuse me, James. My bad. Somehow I skipped <laughs> you. I don't know how. James, you may declare now. Um, uh, look back real quick. What is Brittany doing? Brittany um, is still, the, she's singing and dancing. She's just now, she's noticed that the songs are stopped, but she's way more concerned with the immediate, oh, shit, my music is stopped than she is with anything else presently. Give her a few seconds. All right, I will hop up on the stage, sort of like down in a, like a three-point stance. Uh-huh. So you take a step, because you're huge, and you can just step on the stage. Right, this is what I'm declaring. All right. And just be poised to sprint to whichever side gets there first. All right. <laughs> Based on what you can see, they're both going to get to the side at approximately the same time. Within a heartbeat. One will be a better climber than the other. Um, well, climbing, uh, okay. I assume the stage is about six, seven feet tall. Yeah, let's see. Or the barricades blocking. The left side, the side with Untai on it, looks like they're... There is a piece of stereo equipment that's laying down that you realize that a human could get on and jump and be almost to the proper level right off the bat. Okay. Actually, let me, let me restate that slightly because that's um, one more thing here. You see, let me back, let me retcon this a bit because I forgot where you were positioned. Two of the, four of the guys are going this way, four of the guys are going this way, and two of the guys are actually charging straight at you. I forgot their weapon loadout. So two of them are actually running straight at you. James, right dead center of the stage. Okay. You may modify your actions accordingly. That being the case. I'm not back by seven. Okay. Um, uh, I just ready to intercept the two. Okay. When they get inside the barricade, maybe. All right. They'll be inside <laughs> the barricade very soon, but that's fine. All right. The, to the distance from here to the barricade is we're gonna say thirty meters, maybe twenty-five. All right. Okay, so that's you. Um, Kevin, what you up to? Uh, well, let's see, that's hostile intent. So I will, uh, I'll draw and hold fire for them to close. Okay, you do so. Finally, we have Moe's. Okay. I'm going to run over, loop an arm around Bertney's waist, and run her to, to the back towards where uh, looks like we got uh, elevators and shit. Now, um, if I'm imagining this right, uh, the like statue of Dewey is on top of something else, right, that I would actually be going under. Like the Dewey stat into the building. The stage. The Dewey minus right here. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. The so that's even Burton better. I'm getting right away from that. Yeah, Brittany's way over there. So yes. Yeah, I'm gonna run her out the back, and hopefully she doesn't fight me. 
okay. You are 20 meters, 25 meters, 20 meters from Brittany. Hmm. So it'll be I both your believe, half actions. I believe I am the fastest sprinter, though. So if it's going to happen, it's going to happen with me. Okay. Um, not a big deal. True. There's a there's a couple backup dances in the stage and some other stuff, but you shouldn't have many any major problems. Okay, so that's your declared action. Seeing as that is what you are doing, um, the boss guy is going to see if he can adjust your attitude. The boss guy the being boss. the one that started to orate. Yes, yeah, so though I was going to start his speech. He was kind of upset that he's not able to do his speech because of the whole you running over and once again fucking everyone's speech is up. It seems to be your habit. All right, let me sit here. Speech! 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 You could have actually started it. We could have played it out a little bit. No, no. I, I was starting to, and then I realized this is you, and there's no point to even trying. I don't even write them anymore. I used to write speeches most. I wrote them. Thanks, most. It's all you. I just remember getting basically a surprise <clears throat> round and caving in the evil villain's head before round time began. And then just yeah, you did that flunkies. Flunkies. Yeah. Yeah. The reason I throw flunkies at you first and they don't talk anymore. <laughs> the, this is the main boss. His name is Mutie Mick. I can't talk sign. No, he, <laughs> with his two actions, he takes <laughs> aim with the first action and he shoots you on the second action. Okay. All right. So can't argue that's with that. his. Uh, okay. <laughs> so starting in the thing, the first half action, he starts taking aim. Moe's, you turn and start running towards Burtney. Mark. Uh, Bertney. Bert I said Bertney that time. Bert I was actually right. I'm just making fun uh, of it. It sounds whole, just ridiculous. Bert, like... Bert, like Bert and Ernie. Bert, yeah. Bertney. Yeah. Bert and Ernie. Why do you think I'm Bertney. so amused by it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so you're funny. doing that. Okay. Um, Galbraith, you're starting to look down the stage. You see them running towards your part of the stage. Your part of the stage does not have any easy way to cross, so they are running over towards you, um, but they're going to have to actually get up the six feet to get to the top of the stage. Um, so they have they have crossed the barrier, but they do cross the barrier at this point, but none of them have shot anything yet. Can I tell if they're armed? Make a sighting check. Seventy-four verse one twenty-six. Um, do you have any? You have low light vision enabled. Yes. All right. Make an intuition check on top of the sighting check. Ah, but I don't have that one macro. You're living in a very peculiar world. <laughs> I forgot I clamped this thing on my head. <laughs> In the clamps. <laughs> <laughs> You said intuition? Yeah. Intuition. So. 65? 65. 65. Yeah. Did you pass or fail? Pass. All right. One level. You, because you made the study check and you made the uh, okay. intuition check, you have, you are fairly convinced that they are armed. Okay. But... Your Brian kicks over to the, yeah, I'm willing to risk my career over this, because if they're not armed and you shoot them, bad things are going to happen. But internally, you're convinced that they are armed. Well, it's um, okay. It's only, uh, it's only my career if I kill them. Yes, that is true. Now, James, none of them have legs at the end of the fight. <laughs> that's different. Firing in this environment would be bad unless they are armed. That being said, <coughs> they're giving every indicator that they're armed. Um, James, the two, guys are still, the, pistols. the two guys are still charging straight at you. Um, and, and it's obvious to me that those are the only, uh, those are the only people charging the stadium. That is correct. Okay. 
Yeah, they are presently for you. They are at range bracket. I don't have any, I don't have anything ranged. Okay, well, they do. They're range awesome bracket. They're going to crack into range bracket two at this moment. So okay. Right. I'm gonna. Well, I was prepping to intercept. So what does that mean? Can I do? You can make any action you deem logical as a preparation to intercept. You can charge them. Uh, put myself up in this area. Okay. In between, like, equidistant between two groups. Um, okay. Okay. They're coming at you. Basically, one is about here, one of them's about here. So they're, and they're both running straight at you. That's a lot, Ron. I thought you said it was four, two, and four. There's, there's a group of four here. There's a group of four here. There's a group of one here and a group of one here that I'm going to merge into a single group as soon as their action occurs. They're running at you. So the four of them are going towards where Moe's was. Four of them are going towards where Kevin is. Two of them are heading directly towards you. <coughs> so you'll want to fall back on Moses. Yes. Okay. All right. So you start to fall. You start to backpedal slightly. Um, okay. He's falling back to intercept both groups, which I'll assist him with after I take out these four. Okay. As, okay. On their turn, on seven, you start to back off. Uh, you are not able to get out of range bracket two for them. So one of them decides he's got a good enough shot, and he levels his weapon at you and fires. Instant death. It causes an infinite point. No, okay. Um, I'm looking for a plus 14 bonus to hit me. I'm looking for an 84. It's a portal gun. The other end's in a sun. The sun this planet's going around. Really anywhere in orbit would be bad. He levels the weapon at you, and you hear the distinct popping sound as a canister of uh, goo flies towards you and then explodes. Yes, that is including the snapshot. It was base of 70, plus 40 for his skill, minus 40 for the size, plus 14 for the defensive modifier. The glue gun fires at you and splatters. Three times as it impacts you. Let me pull up the specific snot table and see what happens to poor Mr. James. Snot? I don't know what Is that call a snot stuff. rocket? All right, so. <laughs> so, uh. They, they decided to make the poor choice of coming in non lethal, huh? Um, I wouldn't say poor, but possibly. Okay. Two hit you on the. Shit. I just did this and I forget the freaking split. So it's okay. abdomen, chest, and chest. So you hit twice in the chest. So here's what happens to you, James, because I got chest tables. Let's see. Oops. It might be acid goop. We don't know yet. All right, first one does nothing. Wow. Second one. Oh, yeah. Just fuses to face. How the fuck does that happen? Okay. <laughs> you lose 60 points of agility. And you have 30% visibility loss as the stuff splattered all over your face. The third shot hits you in the abdomen. You won't be peeing for a while. <laughs> your legs fuse together at your <laughs> right at your crotch. Um, I'm I'm lose an additional it. twenty points of agility, and you suffer a thirteen-point penalty to your manual dexterity. Wow. Do you have a positive agility still? So is, how much is the total? 20 and 6. You lost 90 po or 80 points of agility. 80 points, I'm still positive. Okay. You are able to squirm around very effectively, but yeah. 
note, you can break through the glue if you put your mind to it, but this is actual RAM glue. This means it's difficult. Yes, it, it's a minus 100 year strength check, which means you at least have the capacity to fail rather than the lighter glues, which would be, uh, uh, I think they got something on me. <coughs> so okay, yes, yeah. that explodes all over your face and you see a thing fly out the side. Okay. That was the sevens. Um, they're still spending, the other guys are spending the rest of this round running up. So the first phase they get to the crates or they get to the, um, they get to the side of the stage. They're not even on the stage yet. Okay. Second phase. Um, Starting at the top again, Mose, you run over to <laughs> see Bertney. Make a hand-to-hand -hand check to see if you can grab Bertney, who is looking confused. All right, let's see here. Where is my hand-to-hand? -hand? Hmm. Not sword hand-to-hand, -hand, <laughs> regular hand-to-hand. -hand. Right. I'll grab you with my sword! Zing! <laughs> see? Oh, crap. This is not the first time this has happened. The great Dabaramu's braid is very combat. <laughs> there. That's not Bertney, the, we did the call. Bertney does not expect you to be doing this at all. Um, oh, wait, excuse me. He goes first. So, excuse me. As you are right on top of Bertney, he shoots at you. You are at range bracket three for him. He had below a zero. Yeah, you had a negative one. Okay. I, I didn't yeah. see that particular roll. It was. I'm sorry, uh, I forgot. I'm not going to One minus two is what it was. Okay. I didn't see it. I yep. was kind of surprised. But that doesn't mean it didn't happen. Yes, the elite boss guy is better than the regular chodes. I'm, I'm amazed. Or he took one level of alertness or two. Okay, give me a sec here. Check my series. <coughs> Versus. What's your defensive modifier, Moe's? Oh, uh, let's see here. Agility, uh, that is 14. I've got a 14 bonus. And so it's minus, so, but your size class 6 or size class 7? Oh, 6. 6. 6. Okay, I still hit you, but it's really, really close. Okay. All right, Moe's. A glue gun blast hits you. Hits you in the abdomen and the <laughs> right leg. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yay, the right leg. The one's had all the fun. <laughs> it wouldn't be a good game of Battle Lords if your right leg wasn't terribly messed up. The metal one? Yeah. Yeah, well, at least it, well, the metal one's a strength 100 base. What's your base strength? Uh, like 103... Yeah. So yeah, you probably didn't. Well, you, it's a, it's like an extra X number of credits per point to make it work better. But let's see here. For the abdomen, something happens. For the leg, nothing happens. So the abdomen. Actually, something might happen to your leg. Uh, Sixty-three on a leg it stuck is. To it. <laughs> it's stuck to your face. <laughs> oh wait, your right leg fuses to your right hand. <clears throat> I didn't think anything happened. I was wrong. Oh. You suffer a 20-point agility penalty, and your right hand is immobile until you break it free. Uh, cut it free. More like. Which hand was your light sword in? Uh, I wasn't carrying it because I was not going to attack anybody. Okay, so your light sword is still attached to your weapon belt. I think your character is right-handed, so it's on your left side, so you can draw it. Yeah. So it is out of the way. Uh, the abdomen hit, come on, oh, oh, the abdomen 20. hit was 11. Which glues your light sword to your abdomen. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's, <laughs> I'm gonna have to give, based on where it's hitting, I'm going to have to give it an actual chance. You lose 70 points of agility. Whoa. And your, and your leg, in this case, will say, and you lose 15 points of manual dexterity. This is temporary, by the way. I know. Um. 
I'm going to say one is your right side, two is your left side. Okay, so it also hits you on the right side. So your right leg, your right hand, your right, basically from your knee to about your elbow and on your, and your waist is all one big mile of ram glue. Yeah, I wouldn't need, I mean, I'm sure I can feel how much resistance it's giving me, so I know cutting's the way to go. What am I thinking? I do yeah. everything with a sword. I probably shave with this fucking thing because it'll burn the hair off. Anyway. Yeah. The only issue you're running into here is, like, your hand is actually, like, on your... There isn't, like, a point to cut it at. Like, it would be, like, shoving metal... It'd be shoving a light... So there's there's not a big gap. There's not, like, a strain in holding it on. Like, there's an armor gap. You... <laughs> yeah. Do I to get to roll dice and make a check for it? Yes, you can. It, it's just... it's. You personally being so absolutely skilled with the thing can probably still do it. It is not going to be a sling sling cut off thing. It's going to be a. Uh, um, there it goes. Okay. I'm losing some actions. I get that. Yeah. We'll just remove the arm. You could do that or you could remove the leg. I wouldn't advise either, but those would get it. Oh, okay. Um, do you still have any agility left over? Make an yes, agility check I... to avoid falling. Oh boy! Because you did say your intended action was to grab Bertney. Oh wait, and I waited till you grabbed Bertney. So let's see what happened to Bertney. You did? I didn't hear that. I thought you just said he went oh. first. Oh, uh, he goes before you. Okay, that's fine. You fall. Roll your roll your jelly check. Tell me what happens here. We'll see what goes um, on. I don't even know what the. I'm just trying to roll under the number, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, hold on. That would be. And you're minus ninety, 29. and you're under the number. Okay. E100. E100. <laughs> nope. All right. You do not stay upright. You flam. You slam to the ground. It doesn't really do any damage to you, but you are stopped in its place. And because the glue was not quite hardened yet, you end up instead of sliding, you basically just stop abruptly. So my right side is all stuck to itself and to the ground. Yes. Just scream, and run, run! Okay, that's that was your action and his action. Um, Galbraith, you have definitely heard weapons fire. Uh, Galbraith. That means I'll be taking uh, four shots. Okay. Uh, four guys coming at me. <laughs> and uh, going full auto. Of all of us, we have the most cat problems, right? I think you can go full auto because we're in the second segment. Yeah, they're actually, from where you're positioned, first. they are in the first set. They're in rage bracket one from you. They have not started shooting yet, though, because they are concerned with getting on the stage first. Okay, so range back at one is 91. Right. So, can I can I fire three shots out of it this round, or no? Yeah, you can fire burst. At bare minimum, you can fire burst fire. I think that's all I can fire on those is burst, isn't it? Savage B? Oh, no, they go full. Burst. They do yeah, go they full. go full auto. That's not a big deal, but you... Mechanically, in the system, you don't ha you didn't spend enough time to do full auto this round, right. so you can right. most fire a burst at them. Okay, so burst fire, uh, two shots hit forty two. Okay. Roll uh, damage and location for me. First one is uh, left arm for eight damage. Okay, you get a critical hit. Minus 30 agility. He doesn't. Lasers do not cause bleed damage. Yeah. Uh, he is still conscious, though. Second hit is... Ignored. Uh, takes another four. Does not take any. You see the laser hit his clothing, but does not seem to cause any damage. Okay, next guy. Okay, so guy one on your side is taking serious damage. All right, next guy. Next guy, 38, three hits. 
Ouch. Okay. Hit one is left arm for four. Ignored. Threshold is four. Uh, second ignored. one is four. Ignored. <laughs> Headshot. The hell? For 12. <laughs> How do you get 12 points of damage out of curiosity? Uh, 2d6 plus one. Oh, they're D6s. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that super killed him. Actually, that would have killed him on body points alone. So, <laughs> second one's head explodes. It's like, no, no, fuck it. <laughs> Third one. Third one. 75, I'm looking for a 91 to hit. Okay. <coughs> uh, two hit. All right. Uh, left arm for eight. Uh, same critical's last time. Give me a sec here. Damage bees aren't 2d6 plus 1. So they're 2d4. Two two okay. Think. That's what sounds better to me, honestly. So, okay. I I still, even if you'd rolled 2d4 plus 1 and hit the guy in the face, he would have gotten the minimum 4 body points to kill the guy. So I'm content with the one guy who died. 2 to 8 damage. I think you're thinking of Savage C's. Savage C's are 3 to 12. Oh, okay. D4s. Oh. Okay. okay, then I'm wrong. I will have to redo the macro on that. All right, uh, reroll damage then. Hold on, let me redo the macro real quick. Okay. I apologize. I thought they were yeah. our D6s. Not, not too bad. It doesn't really... Uh, I, I guess I don't understand the damage on this very well. The way they are. Yeah, it's... We'll there have been this. some discussions on that. Hopefully they polished off and actually put dice codes in because they just do like 2 slash 8. But some of them it's like 3 dash 11. What the fuck is 3 dash 11? <laughs> 1 okay. D8 plus 3? No. Okay. 2 D4 plus Lower 3. Lower abdomen for 6. Still conscious. Critical hit caused. You hit him twice. Um, Left hit boom. Chipped, left chip bone, um, still conscious. He had, he is seriously injured, but still alive. There's no plus one after it. Where did I get the plus one at? It's one of your one. other weapons had a plus one. Okay. Just subtract one from each of the numbers. Yeah. Well. Okay, then the first shot didn't cause a critical hit. He just remained conscious for the second critical hit. So his left hip bone is still shattered. Or chipped, excuse me. Uh, one more point of damage would have killed him, but that doesn't do anything other than cause a body point. They have eight body points, in case you guys were wondering. And then, last guy? Yeah, that's the last guy. Oh, wait, is that the second? Oh, do you hit the second guy three times? I thought you only hit the second guy twice. Okay, or I get that guy. one goes to the last guy then? If yes, that is the last guy. I didn't, I Let's don't see know if many. I hit him. Yeah, roll the last guy here. Uh, hit for one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. That's all that happened there. Okay, so all of them have been... One of them's dead. One of them is seriously injured. The other two have got... Two of them have gotten critical hits. One of them is not. One of them is dead on your side. Okay. All right. And I activate my kinetic shield. Okay, you activate your kinetic shield. All right. I don't know what it does to glue, but I'm hoping... <laughs> um, actually it does everything. Flux shields, mini capacity, completely ignore glue rounds. They do not bond to it. Blows awesome. off like gack. Um, but I digress, <laughs> that's not what's happening there. So you're dealing with that, you've done this. Next is James. Um, Try and you've break got glue. Free. What's that? Try, Try to break free. free. I kind of figured you'd say that. So I need under a 34. Hey, look at that. Shatter. I break free. Let's see. Make sure. Let's see. Just make sure. Make a strength check. How much did you beat it by? Okay, you break free of that piece. I can I can penalize you additionally based on how many strands are stuck to you, but you rolled really really well. So yeah, um, you managed to. Shatter it off. It breaks off of an audible snap. Pieces of shards of fro or hardened epoxy fly off of you in all directions. Okay, looks really I impressive. That's my action. Yeah. 
Um, on their turn, the three remaining guys you just unloaded on all whip their set, all whip out their core pistol, or all whip out their weapons and fire them at you at short range. Okay. Let's see. They're based to hit on this. I did not write down enough numbers, and I blame myself for that. Yeah, it was three to twelve. Maybe that's where I got the one at. That's the MC6 pistol. Oh, well, that's why the. You, 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 this is like the fourth time you screwed up on this. I'm not sure what else to tell you. But on the upside, he's done a lot more damage than he should have. Well, I've actually, I've got all the stats for the MC6 pistol. 